Oh, look how strong that was. It actually broke the piece of wood. Alrighty, beautiful people of the interwebs, Glyn here, Chief Sky Gaming News Tech Reviews, and we're going to do a review. I know it looks a bit janky, the box, because this is the second time I've recorded it, so it's the second time I've opened it. But, although I normally do video game stuff, don't I, and heck, that type of type tech stuff, but it's a tool, and technically tools, this electrical tool, it's got a lithium ion battery, so it is tech stuff, okay? So don't have a go at me and say, oh, Glyn, you're a gaming tech, what are you doing doing tools? Well, I bought it and I thought I'd do a review on it, all right? So calm them down. Anyway, let's get on with it. So, um, as you can see, I'm quite frustrated because of the second time I filmed this video. And the first one, I just wasn't happy with it. So we're going to do it again. And if you don't like it, tough. You're going to have to sit through it, okay? Cordless screwdriver, four in one. No load speed, 200 minimum minutes. Minus one, why two? I don't know what that means. Tool holder, quarter of inch, hex. Saw blade, saw blade, yes, as you can see from the little wee picture here, it's got a little, like a little miniature circular saw. Um, and what else to say on your, yeah, let's get on with it then. Uh, angle, cutting angle, and torque cutter, and it's got an LED light on it. And we'll have a look at all this. And it's got three stage battery charge indicator, and it's got batteries built in. So, um, really, it's uh. So it's got cutting, screw driving, four volt lithium wire. Right, let's get it open. I, like I say, I've already broken that part. And of course, I got it from Aldi, it cost me 20 quid, right? 20 pounds, 20 of your fine British pounds. Ferex, Feral, more like it, but Ferex it is. And it's quite a nice little padded case here. Excellent job. Let's get this all open. And here we go. And first thing we're greeted by is an instruction manual. And as you can see, it's definitely from Aldi. It says there. Uh, good thing is, it's all in English. Ooh, an explosion diagram. Um, I don't think I'm going to pull it apart, but uh, could be interesting if I did. Right, chuck that out of the way. So here's all the bits. Now, one upsetting part was, yes, look, it's micro USB bloody micro usb come on let's have micro usb c for the win come on you can put it in any way it doesn't matter it charges stuff quicker much better but no micro usb c disappointing could have been mini usb that would have been really really disappointing but it comes with its cable which i won't even open that i'll use someone else to charge it um and then it obliterates obliterate what's the word but it comes with its own transformer usb charging brick let's take that out so let's have a look at the gubbins the meat of the operation now i will say this isn't this particular bit i've got here it doesn't come with it i've put that in there because uh, essentially this is going to go over to the missus and she's going to put it in her car and she's going to use it when she's in work um so forget about that bit because i'm the bits that come with it uh, just just for fast forward a little bit in it the bits that come with it aren't very good they're not very good bits but i've got better bits you can just buy a big pack of Al um walt bits uh, they work better anyway so here's the actual drilly bit so function wise you've got left and right turn or clockwise anti-clockwise if you want to be really posh and that's how you do it you use this little button it's not a very nice press on it feels a little bit flimsy a little bit clicky doesn't feel very firm it feels like as if you're pressing the button you could press it by accident and go the wrong way you don't like that um, status indicator which unfortunately i can only do while it's on but let's see i've charged it up it's fully green um, and there's your bright lights oh bright light bright light burning my eyes yeah, so there's the bright light. So the light is good. I'll give it that. The light is good. That's handy function. Let's move this to one side a minute while we explore the other bits and bobs that came with it. Um, and this is a torque driver. Um, and at one point I was struggling to find how to use this, but it does work. I have tried it on the thing and it does, but it's not. It's not great. It's not got a very nice... Um, 
when you hit the torque level that the click on function isn't very it's very bouncy it's a brrr, you know it's not like a nice click 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 if that makes any sense um, i could get my dwalt drill to show you but uh when that hits its torque it has a sort of nice clickiness to it but uh anyway enough about that let's put that to the side um here's the one for right angles uh, for that, what you do with that is, um, I'll show you how to attach it in a minute, but essentially if you've got something that's quite tricky to space to get into, you can put that on. And I believe this one can go any way, like that, left or right. And then you'd put your hand against it to give it pressure and use that to screw or unscrew. Um, probably things like door hinges and that, that could be quite good for that. Anyway, we'll go on about that later. This is apparently the torque one, so essentially it gives it a bit more torque on the screw for maybe if you've got a really tricky un, uh, to unscrew something, um, that could be useful. So let's put that one on the side as well. And here's the pure the resistance, as they say. And uh, this is your little circular blade. Oh, check this bad boy out. And uh, if we look at it, it looks like a Looks like a deadly 50, 50 pence piece hidden inside there. Uh, can I turn it? Uh, no, I can turn it with my finger. I should watch out really because one slip of the finger here and I could, uh, um, as if I haven't already cut myself a bit anyway. <laughs> I'm no stranger to hurting oneself and not on purpose. I'm not one of those weirdo types with pink hair and whatever's. Anyway, uh, enough about that. Um, yeah, so there's 50 pence PC types. Nice and slicey razor blade. Um, and I suppose what you want to know is, does this work? Uh, find that out later. Um, and it comes with a selection of drill bits. And again, ignore this particular drill bit on here because this is a DeWalt and I've added it to the pack because this is going somewhere else after I finished. But essentially it comes with all these little drill bits, all the ones you could possibly need. Um, and they're not very good. I'll get that out of the way straight away. So I'm going to close this pack up and move it somewhat out of the way so we can concentrate on our little screwdriver itself. So how do you change the tools? So um, let's put them all nice and neat and tidy like that. Oh, lovely. Look at that. Oh, everything looking wonderful. So essentially you can see these two clips here clip them and now this the first thing on there this is just a rubber grommet you can see boing boing spongy spongy that just protects the uh the drill head bits here and let's put the uh piast the resistance the the cutting blade so you need to get it in an angle press the two and uh, it should be locked on now unfortunately my one of these isn't particularly good as you can see if i put a little bit of pressure this side is locking all right, but this side isn't. And of course you need to make it spin. It does have the arrow there saying spin this way. And as you can see, it doesn't really spin very fast. And uh, what can it cut? Now this was a good question. I struggled to find anything. So um, I think the only thing it can cut is cardboard. So uh, let's see if we can do that. Oh, it cuts cardboard like a, like a beast. So you can do two bits of cardboard. Oh, two bits of cardboard, like a beast. So I don't know why you'd want to use this to cut cardboard, but... Essentially, yes, it does cut four bits of cardboard in one go. Right, hopefully I don't have to do this uh, video again, because this box is getting worse and worse every time I film. Right, and if I was really smart, I'd do uh, those little paper chain of paper men, but I'm not that clever. Anyway, so let's take this off. So we can see, essentially, it does work, but it has limited functionality. I tried it with wood, didn't work. Um, tried it with, like, somewhat thin PVC. I would try it with this sort of PVC, but unfortunately, these don't belong to me. These are my rented game disc case covers. But, oh, I'd love to give it a go cut in that. Don't think boomerang dreams would be too helpful. Uh, happy if I did that. Anyway, so 
the cutting tool just about cuts cardboard uh, and my one came a little bit broken um, but it's functional it does sort of work it's not going to blow your mind if you think you're going to be cutting little sheets of wood with it think again you're not so um torque screwdriver let's have a look at this one now this one now I, there's a problem with this already we can see that can't we you can't really see the um the adjustability levels or layers they've put dark blue on rubber black better they'd put yellow or orange that would have been better but they've gone with this blue they thought oh we've got this paint um we've got this color paint we'll use it on here it's not a good idea not your smartest decision i would have gone with a much brighter color uh, for that because i can't see anything and there's a little arrow there very hard again to see that should have been colored nice bright color so essentially you need to find that arrow which can be quite tricky then line it up and there we go there's your torque setting so that would be full torque or drill it's very hard to see i mean i'm struggling here to see it and i'm not even sure if you're going to see it on the camera and that would be weakest torque um, and we'll try it out so um, i'm not going to use the drill bit supplied uh get let's get that out of the way because they're, they're crap i'm going to use my little dwalty ones that you can buy in a pack for a few quid um, and we've got this and we do, when I have, normally you'd use a pre-drilled hole but we're not going to do that we're going to go straight in we're going in dry now if this works correctly it should there we go and again, as you can tell from that very loud cracking sound that was the torque not a nice click at all um, and if I go back out so I need to torque that up a bit now to try and get that back out. It did work. And if we go full torque, we should be able to screw this all the way in. So let's try a fresh hole. Make sure I'm going the right way. And it's so good, it actually cracked the wood. So we can assume that this particular piece works. That this piece works so we put that one out the way at the background there um, and all the rest of these are going to be something similar um, am i on yeah i'm on this one's supposed to be a bit more torque we'll try it again oops what am i trying to do I'm trying to screw a screw in oh look how strong that was it actually broke the piece of wood so yeah i'm having a great time of smashing the bits of wood here so that works anyway that worked well that went your talk on that wasn't there so essentially that works so now we're going to go with the, the weirdest one the right hand or the 90 degree angle turn again probably for just getting into small spaces Yeah, that works as well. Although, oh. got to make sure this button's pressed as well. If it's a little bit out like that, it'll just work as a light. You've got to make sure, let's get it an angle. You've got to make sure that's pressed all the way in for it to work. Yeah, and that's too much torque for it by the looks of things. There we go. So essentially, the bits do work. Um, with limited functionality essentially how i would use this i would ignore most of those pieces over there um, and i would just put the rubber bit back on get a little dwelt drill bit and that would be handy keep it in the car whatever um, in your toolbox that's the good thing is look i mean i've got quite big hands but as you can see it's it's literally a hand what can i show you this so but what size it is um it's quite tricky isn't it what, what's a random object that everyone knows the size of it used to be a mars bar years ago everyone used to use measurement of mars bar but uh i haven't really got anything what about this these are large size nail clippers so that shows you a sort of size 
These aren't small nail clippers, they're large ones. Uh, that sort of shows you its size. So a functionality as a little screwdriver, yes, fine, great. Um, and you don't want to be using too big a screws, like I say, for this for this little demonstration here. We're just using these little ones. Um, and it's completely destroying this piece of wood. So let's do another one, just Again, if they were pre-drilled, it would have been much better. But probably ideal for doing things like working on your computer and stuff. You know, when you've got to like build a computer and you need a little screwdriver just to think, just to um, help you put all the screws together because sometimes there's quite a lot of screws in them. That would be useful for that. Indicate we're still on green. Um, although I don't trust this very much, um, the first time, the first video I did, it went straight from green to red and then ran out. Oh, and I'm dropping stuff now. Uh, Apologise for that. Um, but essentially, that's it. This is the Ferex review. Um, what do I think of it? Well, for twenty quid, I think they could have got rid of this. They could have got rid of that. Got rid of that even got rid of that to be honest and just had this as a product uh, obviously with the charger probably USB-C they have got a USB-C and just this um, I think it would have been a, a bit of a bargain if they dropped it down to maybe 15 17 pound 50 but charging 20 quid for what essentially is all these bits and, and these would have added quite a lot of cost to the actual product um, I think they could have made this product a lot cheaper without the crap, without this junk. Just gone with this and also had it, um, I don't know if you've seen other ones of these, where you can actually have a, a twist mechanism here and you can twist it 90 degrees and it becomes like a big long tube. So essentially it doesn't have the handle like that then. It's more, you can hold it like this, so you can swap between the two and you can use that that way that would have been better product in my opinion get rid of all this rubbish put the little um, twist lock on there and that would have been a great product and they could have sold that at 20 quid all day long but a 20 quid with what is somewhat functional but not particularly useful products um, I wouldn't buy it again if I was to give this product a rating out of 10 I'd give it a 5 a five if it didn't come with all this rubbish it was just the product just the charger and it was say 15 quid or a tenner maybe if it were a tenner i'd give it an eight or nine out of ten if it were 15 quid i'd give it a seven out of ten but with all this junk 20 quid yeah it's a five out of ten for me um i wouldn't buy it again anyway that's been my review of uh, aldi's the ferrex uh what was it called cordless screwdriver four in one and this has been cheapskate gaming news and tech reviews and this has been a review for that and we'll see you in the next one cheers guys bye now